Hi and welcome to my October vlog. October's over already. Yeah, it's hard to believe, right? Um, these are all the things I've been doing in October, except I ended up after my last like my video at the end of September saying I'm not doing a challenge this month. Then I was like, yeah, I will, I will do a challenge. So I'll be presenting that in my next video. But this is all the stuff, the non-challenge stuff that I did in October. Didn't feel like I did a lot, but now I've put it all together. There's a few things happening. Right now I'm in the car. I'm on my way home from my exercise class. I've started doing a, oh, I don't know if you call it an exercise class, like a rehabilitation class. My rehab, I'm going to rehab. No, it's actually for the arthritis in my hip. And it's an exercise class that's meant to get you mobile and sort of deal with that through strengthening up all your other muscles rather than sort of going the hardcore operation or cortisone injection route so yeah hopefully it will do me some good fingers crossed this is sketching the world and i'm kat a writer and artist from australia but my dream is to sketch the world Moleskin sketchbook, it's got a thing you just tear it. But I'm a bit worried about doing it. In oh, I did it, that was too easy.
So the framing didn't go exactly to plan. What happened was when I, like two of the frames I got just from Ikea and they were fine. The other one I got custom make, so on the square frame and they didn't have any decent square frames at Ikea. The custom framing plates were great, but what went wrong, what went horribly wrong is that instead of measuring my sketch, I've done it in my moleskin sketchbook and I just took on trust that their measurements of their sketchbook size was what the actual page size was. But no, they lied. They lied. And so when I got the frame, the mat, the opening in the mat was the wrong size for my sketch. And then I'd also not taken into account that they... Um, have rounded edges on the pages. So, so what I did was, after a lot of trying to hack my way into making it look all right, I ended up just getting back in touch with the framing people and getting a new mat. Ended up, well, it was only ten bucks for the mat, but it was twenty bucks for shipping. <gasps> 20 bucks for shipping so I said yeah no nah. and then they said yeah maybe look somewhere local they were in Sydney I'm in Melbourne they said look local so yeah any local places though they just said they didn't have prices online they just said come in for a consultation so yeah I'm going to go in for a consultation you're going to quote me something ridiculously high and then because I'm here you've sort of got me over a barrel I don't trust people when they say things like you know wanting you to contact them for a quote or a consultation or anything just tell me a price and I'll decide whether that's what I want or not and yeah so I rang the place back and I thought eh, even if it's going to cost me 30 bucks an extra 30 bucks on top of what I've already paid I'd rather do that so yeah I'll get the pictures framed soon as soon as that get that gets here i'll finish framing the pictures and then i have to take them over to the gallery and the exhibition is on in january december january i think so yeah hopefully they sell and i get my money back
Okay, this is my Halloween market stall, market hall, not stall. So first up, we got this bag when we went in with coffee beans, the darkness, DC, the terror from beyond space. I have no idea what this coffee's like. And one of the bad things is they're coffee beans and we don't have a coffee grinder. So I might work out some way to get those ground and then, yeah, test them out. And then also in the bag was some different discount vouchers. Sour Skulls popping candy. What else we get? Some other candy. Incubator. That's just a business card, not even a discount coupon. And another can. Oh, Vampire Blood Gum Tongue Painter. What's this one? Black Cherry Toxic Waste. Oh, that sounds yummy. And then there's so many stalls and they had so much cute stuff. We went to one that was selling jewellery and I got a mystery bag. And I got a barrel of monkey's earrings. Ooh, more fun than a barrel of monkeys. They're super cute. And also these ones with little gummy bears. I think they are little honey bears. That's Glitter Crow Studio. Even the bag's really cute. Then, well, I thought this bag was empty, but no. I didn't buy as much stuff as I thought. I felt like I was buying so much. Spooky Convini. And it's got like hot snack. That's something in a bag. Vampire. Yeah, so... You can have these as little stamps, little individual stickers, or use it as washi tape. Oh, I got some other stuff from there as well. That's just a little card with the details of the seller. And then a couple of stickers. Cute as hell goat sticker. And shop small. Didn't I get another sticker? I thought I got another sticker. Yes, here it is. It's right in the bottom of the bag. It's a Ramune drink, but a spooky one. And that was my haul from the Halloween market.